whereabouts of that I see. Greenblood, do you need something? I must leave you. You finally made up your mind. I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk. This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I, you don't have the right. Damnation, he got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. Have a nice day, sire. Sire, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. I must go to the dispensary. There are some days when you'd rather get drunk all day than have to suffer through this again. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. 
The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. How is Teleme faring on Tirfredi? We built a marvelous city, San Mateus, on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance. There is talk of a demonic cult. Disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. Could you tell me anything about Teleme? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah, you must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical, and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front, without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on tier for D? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade.
Greetings, Your Excellency. Greetings. I hope your day will be better than mine. May the disease never afflict you, Your Excellency. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen? Yes. Excellent. The Very well. The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvellous. Well, then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. It's blocked. It's blocked. Yes, that's Constantine's voice. It's coming from the upper floor. It sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. 
As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. Sooner or later to liberate them. He's making a great deal of noise. We could knock him out or gag him. To my help! Death to the others!
Locked. Locked. Well, this has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to impress! Constantine, it's me! My dear cousin! <laughs> my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fires. Well, I do what I can. We're departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today, we set sail for adventure. how these river scum treated me. Do me a courtesy, good cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, let's give them their money's worth. There's no one left to pay, your highness. The brave Kurt and your cousin have already settled the books. Really now? What a shame. I would have loved to have seen that. We've nothing left to do then than to board our ship. An adventure awaits us at the end of the street.
I believe I've seen you at the palace. Are you one of the prince's relatives? I wish you a good day, Your Excellency. Oh, hello, Your Excellency. It is an honor. Good day, tavern keeper. Can I pour you anything? It's you. But I didn't recognize you, my scruffy young pup. You put this place to shambles last night. I am quite sorry about that. I'm afraid I let the festive spirit get the better of me. Better of you? You broke everything. If you think for a second that I'm... Come on now. Don't be angry about such trivialities. I'm certain we can make amends. Now, what can I do? Hmm. The contents of this pouch should be worth your forgiveness. What do you say? Uh, forgiven and even forgotten, your lordship. Whatever can I do for you? Has the Malachor really put a damper on your business? <laughs> More than a damper. They were soaked. When the sickness began to spread, a wave of panic followed in its wake. People stopped going out of their homes. They were afraid. I was close to closing shop, I tell you. And then, thankfully, the alchemists of the bridge said that you couldn't just catch it like that. People were still distrustful, as is their nature, but they are leaving home again. It's a start. I also lost quite a few regular customers. Dead or too scared to venture back. Oh, but that's nothing new to you. <laughs> the city would have sunk in the water if not for trade with the new isle. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Locked. I don't have the key. I don't have the key. Locked. I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin! Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of al -Sad.
Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? Oh, you don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I wasn't fortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy, to criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners, making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocents. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? I'm sorry, but I don't trust you. I'm going to deliver you to Dr. Sahin. Sir, I beg you to spare me. I've heard enough. You're under arrest. How unjust. I am finished. Sahin is going to throw me in the bottom of a... Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally, did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. He is hiding in a room in the Coin Guard Tavern. Why didn't you have him arrested? Angry citizens have gathered round the building. They have sworn to avenge themselves after discovering his fraud. I decided it better to avoid the mob. But if you wish to capture him alive, I advise you hurry. Governor Buren will be happy to learn that a legate with great assiduity will soon be joining the island of Tierfredi. Thank you for your help, Excellency, and allow me to offer you this modest present for your voyage. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade.
swarm through? Is your hat out of style? Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you. Have you seen anything? Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Welcome! It's such a pleasure to have you. Thank you for your visit. See you soon.
Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Though some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Constantine d'Orsay, future governor of Tier Freddy. I'm enchanted, Captain. I am eager to board your ship. Enchanted as well, Your Highness. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure, like another I know. I doubt that Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. If you have any farewells to make or any final business to put into order, now is the time. You're quite right. I do have a thing or two to put in order. Then be quick with it. There isn't much time left before the time. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority, and the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel... I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship, for New Serene, leaves in a month. Hellfire! If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier D. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse and noted on the manifest will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are gonna have to wait until the next ship sets sail. <sighs> Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. The commander is gonna have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to dock to the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbor master's office. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers. Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails, not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you, why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Nothing to bother yourself about. I'm just curious. You wouldn't, by the sheerest of coincidences, be on the trail of a couple of heretics, Your Excellency. The same a couple of the ambassadors of Teleme's men have been looking for nigh on two days. And so you know about that? Of course. The Cardinal's henchmen are hard to miss, even in a crowd. And they were making quite a fuss, hoping we would cave in and help them in their hunt. Feel free to carry out your own investigation, but you'll end up with the same answers. The port brigs, just like the warehouses, are property of the Nauts. No one else may enter. Could you tell me a little about your guild? We are masters of the oceans. Our ships can sail where no others dare. Thanks to your magic, so I've heard. 
How do you become a Nord? Our magic, yes, uh, that only the Nords master. As for your question, any child born on one of our ships is seaborn. He is a Nort from birth. Others are sea gifted, joining the Norts for different reasons, often from a young age. It's how the guild is made and maintains its numbers. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. Your Highness, I'm happy to see you. Your absence this morning worried both your father and me. Come now, Sir de Corsillon. My father may have been angry, outraged, or disappointed, but he's never worried about me. I am sad to have caused you any worry, though. Would you believe that I was rotting away in a sinister jail, guarded by thugs ready to kill me? Though still seeing double from last night's drink, I was preparing an ingenious escape plan when... Ta-da! My dear cousin jumped up out of nowhere and saved me. I'm quite the fairy tale damsel in distress. You might have refrained from the company of bandits the night before such an important departure. Take away the risk and halve the pleasure, de Corsillon. It is the salt of life. Hmm. I fear that some of my teachings have been misunderstood. But you wanted to ask me something, Desade. I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. Hello, sir. 